Hello, in today's video, I'm be doing another Minecraft survival episode. We're gonna pick up right where we left off at the village. In today's episode, we're gonna be establishing a, bit, a base of operations, and we're gonna be settling down on this village. So there's a good food supply here, and there's obviously plenty of villagers. I see mods, but below ground. There, with a little x-ray glitch for the ground loaded in. Okay, now, I would explore the cave, but that's a little bit too risky considering we don't have any iron body armor or anything yet. So we're going to go down in this house we picked, break our way in. We're going to remove this here, this dirt block. Here's where um, I come up from the cave. We are just gonna quickly um, patch this up so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and we're gonna gather some sandstone blocks from the outside right quick. Whoops. Looks like I fell down in the hole. Didn't mean to do that. Um, Break that sandstone block. We're just only, there's only gonna be a temporary base of operation as well. We are only just gonna be here for a little bit because we will set up our own house over that way, somewhere over that way. Now we're gonna, we're gonna go back in here. Uh, okay. Oh, I meant to grab two of those sandstone blocks. That's all right. We can go grab another one from somewhere. Patch up that hole in the floor. Um, there's got, yeah, there's one right here on the ground. Okay. Now, patch that up as well. Looks good. We got our little entry hole here. We're gonna go in and start setting up stuff. We'll go in, we're gonna get out our furnace, crafting table, and bed. And bed. What we're also going to do is we're going to put a chest here, but we have to craft one first. Do we have any wooden planks on us? No, we do not. Okay. It's only a minor setback. What we're going to do, we're going to go down to the, what I call, I'm going to start calling the oasis over here. Because it's, it's a desert over there, and this is the first water source that you see. Really great to fish I see plenty of catfish and river salmon in it. So that'd be plenty good for fishing. Just gotta quickly put down the tree. Just like this. I really love the Minecraft Aquatic update. I just love it. I really do. It's by far my favorite update. Because they added well features to the um, water. Now, the next thing is going to be putting a defense around this village. Because I do hear zombies. And that's going to be a problem for the villagers. Because as you know, zombies don't eat people. And if there's zombies around, they will attack the villagers. And the villagers, the poor things, have no defense against these zombies. So, later in the game, I might create an iron golem and put it in the village, what the iron golems are. The mobs made out of iron, 
course, that's why they're called Iron Golems. And what they do is they will protect the villagers against anything that tries to attack. Looks like it's starting to get dark. Sort of looks like it. Yeah, looks like it's trying to get dark on us. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep here in a second. We got our wood planks now. We will soon create a chest. You know what? We'll just do that quickly while we wait for it to get dark. Okay, our chest. We're gonna create a few of them. Now, we're gonna go ahead and sleep. So I thought it says you can only sleep at night a million times. Over there, we're gonna quickly sleep. I'm really waiting on it to get dark. That's a beautiful sunset, though. Pretty view. We'll go ahead and sleep. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place down our chest. Let's have a couple of them. We're going to put all of the stuff that we don't need on us right now. Like all this um, dynamite stuff we got from the from the desert temple, extra coal, emeralds, we might use those in a minute though, we don't want to keep them on us, gold, we're going to need that iron in a minute, so we're going to start crafting body armor from this iron we have on, in our inventory, put our boat in there, this leather, pumpkins, dirt, extra stuff, just general things like that that we don't need at the moment. Okay, so I have one more chest on us. We're gonna place it down over here for now. We are going to go into our furnace right here, place in our coal and iron. Now all we have to do is wait. While we wait, though, I'm gonna go ahead and go see if we can get any more meat. Yeah, there's some sheep around, that's good. We're not going to get any of this out of the garden. Not going to get any of that. We're just going to quickly gather some more meat. From the sheep and whatever animals we can find around. Scan the general area around here. Oh, I thought that was going to be another building over there. Just a hill. Okay, yeah, looks like I'm not going to stray too far from the village. Just a little pond there, some gravel. That'd be good for, um, trying to find flint. Flint's an essential when it comes to getting arrows for a bow. Just gonna quickly get our bearings on the area is what we're doing right now. Just kind of explore it in detail, the general area. But there's the village church over that way. There's the preacher villager right there in the purple. Let's see what he's got to say. What he's got for trading and whatnot. Huh? Oop. We're nine minutes in. We have a move my little button up there. It's like you can give him gold or rotten flesh from zombies and stuff. Mm, that's useful. I want to find out if they do have an armor. An armor ah. over here. I have a photographer, that's excellent. When we do decide to go out and explore more. Any villagers in here? No. I'm just hoping they have um, a Fletcher villager so we can buy ammo. I have a fisherman villager, that's neat. We can get stuff from him if we need fish. Farmer villager that's come with every village. 
fisherman villager right here. Let me check. Shepherd villager. We're just going around checking villagers and stuff, seeing what they what they have to offer. Uh, eat. Okay. What? Okay. Why is it doing that? Is that a glitch or something? My hand's not even on the screen. Is that a Hold on. Take it off again. Uh, I don't. What the heck? Stop. Okay, it looks like it stopped. Um. Thank you. I'm climb on top of here and look. At beautiful spot here. Little island in the middle. I might do something that iron um island in the future. I'm probably gonna build my house up right over there at that flat spot. Just plan out what and all I'm gonna do at the moment. Um okay good we're about still recording. I just making sure because I'm not used to my um button being up here. I'm gonna move it back to where it was now that we're not talking to villagers and stuff. I'm gonna run over here. It looks like there's um, more villagers to talk to. Hopefully, I'm hoping they have a Fletcher villager. Mm. Okay. No. I'm looking for a Fletcher villager. Yeah, good, they do have. A fletching bug. We're gonna go ahead and buy 22 arrows. Just like that. As you see, every time you trade with a villager, I get new trade deals. Like, for example, now, I bought ammo, you can buy a bow, you can buy a flint straight out, you can get 10 gravel, and pay them, and they'll get 6 flint out of it. And stuff like that. So every time you trade with the villager, you own like more trade deals. That's how it works. Like if I trade sixteen coal to this guy, oops, I didn't mean to hit him. But this villager here, if I trade him coal, he would like he, he would then want to trade me like more stuff, like more gear and stuff. Like you saw with the um collection books. Okay, now we're actually gonna craft us a bow right now while we're waiting. Get the um, crafting recipe laid out. Kind of lay it out so we can get it. Place our string, and there we go. We now have a bow that can shoot. This would be really good for like in caves and stuff. If I don't want to go down there and I see a mob, I can just shoot at them. This poor villager appears to be stuck. We're gonna jump onto our ladder down here. We're gonna help build him a way out. The Fletcher's down here, huh? Better be careful, villagers. You don't want to get you get stuck. I mean, I feel, I feel bad for these poor villagers. I don't know how to get out. And you know, my, my Fletcher villagers down here, I don't want anything to happen to him. This way. This way. I just place blocks there so they can walk out. Hopefully they'll find their way out. I don't want anything to happen to him. I'm gonna go ahead and break that. So he can get out here. Now we're gonna head back to um, our place that we picked over here. 
This appears don't be frequent. This appears not to be frequent frequented by villagers. Because there's no villagers here normally there would be. Okay, good. I iron is done. Go ahead and group the that ammo in one pocket. Go ahead and put some food on cooking while we wait. Now with the iron, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start crafting body on. We've got 33 to work with. Spread them out. There we got um, a armor plate there. We're gonna make it. Try to get this okay. Um. Craft a iron headset. Oh, um, what's the other one? Oh yeah. Now we have a full set of body armor with iron left to work with, and it we we're about only 15 minutes in. We got plenty of time to work with. Wait. Go ahead and put on our body armor. Just like this. Now we have a full set of body armor. What we're going to do with the leftover iron here after we sleep is we're going to start crafting iron weapons and tools. See, now I feel plenty comfortable going down in the cave. Now that I got that iron body armor, the list is set for all the arrows coming at us from enemies and so on. Now, what we're going to do with the leftover, um, iron, I'm going to go ahead and craft a sword. Oop, I didn't mean to do two of them, but it's good to have extra. I'm going to make a pickaxe as well. Lay out the crafting recipe just like this. Mm, I would... Go ahead and create an axe. We had one more. We can craft a gardening tool with it. Um, might as well go ahead and do that. And just put that away. I'm going to go ahead and put that and all these stone tools away. Well, we can keep the wood and stone tools for now until they break. Might as well do that. I'm going to put... Some of that organizer inventory a little bit straying away with the stick. And we're going to explore the cave a little bit. Wait, can't do that yet. We need torches first. So what we're gonna do is we get this extra coal and this stick. Go into the crafting table. Put down those and craft us some torches just like this. Now we have a set of 60, we can go down and explore some of the cave systems and all that. And look good, as well as light them up so mobs don't spawn down there and kill any villager that wanders their way down here. I'm just going to kind of place some light down here so mobs do not spawn. There's some iron, that's real good. Okay. Oh, I just heard a villager get hurt up there. I hope nothing's happening while I'm away. I hear a mob. That's okay. Wait, can you no longer place the block? Can't no longer just okay. Kind of paranoid. I hear that mom. I don't even know if he's reading anything. I think he might be down there somewhere in that big old hole. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, right there he is. He's not coming at us. I'm gonna fight him. 
There we go. I will really have creepers around. I don't like being creepers. And it sucks now that you have to put a block on the water source to stop it. Before this new update hit, you could just place a porch and it worked just the same. Is this a spawner? I kind of hope so, and I kind of hope not. Okay, good. It's not. I mean, if it was, that'd be good. We can get more loot and stuff out of it. Um, where did we come up at? Oh, good. Just over there. Okay. We're gonna wind our way back down. Pick up some of this coal and stuff that we found. I always use more. We're not gonna use our diamond pickaxe. Unless we come across something like gold or diamonds, which... If you're not deep enough in the cave to do so, so there's no need to use it right now. I'm going to mine out this coal. Just like this. we come we don't want to go back up to the surface we're gonna go back down in here to where we found all our goodies at this iron go ahead and mine it really quickly break this gravel make sure there's nothing we're about to jump it down and attack us no. Okay. I think it really bad to get down this hole until we start attacking us. Okay. I see some more iron up there. Let's go ahead. Go the way up to here. Get on this plane. Some iron up there on the ceiling. Okay. I see a zombie over here. He's coming at us. Shoot him in the head. Oh no, he bit me. I'm bit. No. I'm under major attack. Got him. At least zombie bites ain't are not fatal in Minecraft. That would be really bad. And I would just, it would have been game over if zombie bites were fatal. Luckily, they're not. They do cause damage, but they're not fatal. Like, for example, that bite caused my hunger to go down faster. Because the body of my Minecraft character is fighting off the virus. And using up extra, um, energy. If you know how that works. back around here. Okay, kind of good, kind of bad. Okay. Make sure there's nothing in this dark corner. Over here. Okay. Go ahead and mine out all this iron and stuff. Always use more iron if you making more tools. And replacement body armor. Other than my character. Okay, I'm not, I don't hear it no more. I think it's just like one of them water streams, the water flowing and dripping. I'm gonna take out our wooden pickaxe and mine this coal. Just because we need to use up this wooden and stone pickaxe. Just like a wood pickaxe still mines coal, so we're gonna use it.
Also running low on torches, but I think I'm gonna end it off here in a little bit. And go back up to the surface. I really don't wanna have to stop a video in a cave. Um, so we're gonna extend the time limit just like we did on the other video the other day. Okay, I'm not seeing any mobs. Good and bad at the same time. Okay. Good. Go ahead and mine out this coal. And extra coal too, we can give it to that villager. You know, give us money and stuff for it. Money in this, this villagers are emeralds. But you can either mine in the wild or extremely rare. Extremely rare, I mean, I said rare, but you get the idea. They're rare and hard to find naturally. And villagers can get them just by giving stuff to them. Go ahead and mine out all this coal that we can before it gets too dark to see. Should have brought some extra sticks, is what I should have done. To make extra torches. Well, I don't think we'll need them this time around. We're gonna start trying to work our way back out of this cave. Okay. Down there, grab all that coal. We're gonna start working our way back. Picking up any iron and stuff along the way. Nothing up there. Oh no, I almost fell in that hole. That wouldn't have been good. There's some iron there. It's close to that dark corner. I don't know. I'm. What's what's safe? We're going down near that giant hole. We're going right here in the dark corner. I'm gonna stay right here safest. Something comes and attacks. Gonna work way back up out. Back to where this gravel is. Break the block so we can get back up in here. Oh no. It's having a little bit of difficulty there. Now we got it right back out of it. Okay. Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Right here, over here, anywhere. Break this so we can go to this area and make sure we didn't miss anything. There's some coal right there, we'll pick that up in a second. There's this iron here, we missed this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Just like this. We are currently 30 minutes in. Almost a video. I'm going to extend the time limit 35 minutes, just like I did the last episode. Just so we have time to get out of this cave and pick up anything along the way. Any more, not any more iron or anything around. What's this down here? 
Okay, it doesn't look like there's... I think that's just where we come from. We're gonna work our way out of this cave now. Uh, the dead end right here. I'm just gonna do that. Dig straight up. To say it's a bad idea, but... That's where this place is I doubt. Great, it's nighttime outside. Oh, water. At least water's better than lava. Water's survivable. Come on now. Let me climb you, water spout. Water. Grab that. Catch our breath. Get away from the surface. Where my lips might be. Go ahead and eat. Okay, I felt the generation. Okay. Looks like. We are safe. Ish. Okay. okay. This is one of these creepers I was talking about. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I say they explode if you get too close to them. See, they start to turn white. I don't want them exploding around here though. But. But I don't want that one exploding right near our nice flat area of land. I'll show you another mob that down that, that white thing up there called a skeleton. They'll shoot at you with a bow and arrow, just like that. So you kill them, they drop bones. Because they're skeleton and um, arrows sometimes too. They'll give you arrows. That's a really good way to farm for arrows. Is that one wearing body armor? That is a body armor zombie. It's got um, a chainmail helmet on it. Maybe that, if you will. No. Hmm. Guess not. I'm gonna just go ahead and shoot that skeleton right there, right in the back of the skull. Didn't hurt him much because he's a skeleton. Shoot that zombie too. <laughs> I shot him in the leg that last time. See, he dropped the arrow, so that's good. It's also good about deserts, you can acquire cactuses to kind of help keep mobs and other critters away from your base and stuff. So you can get him. Um, we're going to stay in proximity to the village. So he's wearing some leather body armor. Good with he dropped the bow that time. They also dropped bows every now and then. What is that over there? Oh, it's a zombie getting hit by a cactus. Uh, I'm gonna get hit by the cactus. Okay, here's a creeper I can let explode down over here. See, creepers, they get close to explode. Zombie coming behind me there. Yeah, see, that's what I mean when they say they explode. You can create a cavity there in the ground. There's also iron down there. What is that zombie holding? 
chow na shovel. Huh. Well, you're trying to hit me with that shovel. not near our nice flat land area we picked out over here to build on. You don't want to let the creeper explode near anything you've built. Because it'll blow that up too. Maybe not that the ground, but it'll blow that up. Well, there's a normal looking zombie in Minecraft. This is what a normal zombie looks like. Those zombies. Other zombies than tan looking ones called husks. Those are desert zombies. They only appear in the desert. They also drop rotten flesh when you kill them. The good thing about getting all this rotten flesh, like I said earlier, we can sell it to um, the creature villager. All the villagers night time, okay. I hope. I hope none of them got eaten or anything. I hope. Um, I see this villager is okay. Okay, we've surpassed our time limit. It's already 36 minutes in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I will see you next time.